So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Pez, uh, I said Pez, it's not even Pez is it, eFootball 2022 video. We're going to be looking at version 1, there are some videos that have been out and about today that were officially embargoed free. Um, I haven't had a chance to play it because, you know, no one invites me to anything. It's a bit harsh. Uh, but we're going to look at it and uh, discuss a few things. And of course, next week, we are going to get our hands on it and play it, which is uh, hopefully going to be good fun. So let's go through the news for today. The first thing I want to talk about is just the, the AC Milan partnership. So Konami becomes the first training wear partner in the history uh, of AC Milan. So, from uh, the 1st of July, the leading gaming company will join the family of the club's principal partners. So, what does this mean? Pretty much to summarize, in short, because no one wants to read the whole thing. From next season, the eFootball logo uh, will appear on the official training kit of the men's team, worn uh, by players during training sessions in the uh, Malanalo Sports Center uh, and before matches in all official competitions. So there you go. First thing out the way, very simple, AC Milan partnering, which, you know, they've been partnered with Konami for a very, very long time. Now, other things that I want to quickly go through, then we're going to look at gameplay, right? But I just wanted to go through these real firstly, quickly. Good language. Uh, this was actually the attention to the cameraman, if you guys can see, which you can't because... Uh, we're not on camera, but if you watch the cameraman, first of all, there's one there, but watch the cameraman down the side. There he is. Just the little animations. Maybe that's always been there. Then he starts legging it. I think it's quite humorous. But yeah, you can see the cameraman just keeping up with play. The ball goes in. Then watch this guy. Absolutely bolt it down the old touchline, trying to keep up with all the boys. So, you know, nice little attention to detail there. Uh, this was a quick look at the game plan. So, um, yeah, why not have a look at that? Because they have changed this basically back to kind of the Pez 21 ways. Um, so, you can't see a whole lot, to be honest. But you can see you've got auto-pick players, in-match roles, uh, automatic match support is an option there. There's probably a better video lurked about, but I couldn't find it. You've got change formation, team play style. Uh, individual interactions and sub tactic. So there you go. What else do we have here? Is he going to click on them and show us? So Team Star will give you those options. Possession, quick counter, long ball counter, out wide and long ball. We've already seen those before. And then there may be other things. Let's see. Individual interaction. So you can do attack, attack two. You've got defense and defense two. So that's pretty much the same. I'm guessing these are play styles as we know like hug the touch line, all that stuff, right? And then you've got sub tactic, which is, I don't know, they're not really showing you, but there's there's more additions as we know. Uh, and a big thanks to Cam for uh, showcasing that stuff. Moving forward, this was just to look at the um, stadium options. So these are the stadium options that have been added this time around. As I think before we only had five, so we've got a few more to choose from. Now, I don't know if this is still going to be a five-minute offline experience, which to me is just pointless. Like, come on, you can't play the AI in five minutes. You just can't. At least ten minutes, please. Uh, and then there's a few other screenshots, but we're going to look at gameplay anyway, so we're not going to concern ourselves too much with that. Uh, this was a quick interview I wanted to go over. Uh, once again, Cam dishing out the information. So well played, sir. There he is, Cam. Check him out, Camaldinho. Go and follow him on Twitter. Um, so this was an interview with Mr. Robbie Ron um, that basically details this. Sales of DLC and other modes are for another time. That is Master League and all that stuff, folks. No, they've not come out with any information regarding Master League. And I wouldn't expect to see much from that for quite a while. Uh, updates are going to be every two months with new content. Fair enough. I mean, you've, they've got to keep the content fresh. Remember, folks, this is a free-to-play game. So you're not forking out cash like you are when you're buying FIFA. But obviously FIFA is a much more robust package as a whole. Uh, and then you've got the Dream Team has an eFootball league uh, with a system of rewards according to performance. Uh, this was the, um, the whole interview. But he summarized it and that's pretty much it. So um, yeah, I'm not going to go crazy about everything. Else. I mean, there is talk here. 
Uh, let's just go over the updates. Uh, Konami also talks about um, updates every two months following a season logic that will bring updates with new content. Asked about other news of the next update, um, Robbie ensured the arrival of the Brazilian stadiums, um, such as the Maracana, Morubi, uh, and Neo Quamica. Nailed that. Uh, as well as updates from the transfer market. But it's worth mentioning the Brazilian teams uh, already tested with the new patch still brought outdated squads, uh, unlike European teams. <laughs> so there we go. Fantastic. And also... You know what? I want to read this because it's about the other thing in Image Jiggity. Uh, the last change highlighted by Robbie was in creative mode. Creative mode mode. Uh, formerly my club and now renamed to Dream Team following a proposal similar to FIFA's foot. Uh, the game option brings player cards and allows you to assemble teams from scratch to play online against other people in the community. The mode also has the eFootball League with 28 days of dispute and a system of divisions and rewards according to performance. So it gives you guys some incentive, you know, to actually play the damn game. Uh, moving forward, just got a quick look at Cristiano Ronaldo, who has an updated face. There was the before and there was the after. And um, not only the hair has obviously been changed, but I think you can tell by the actual quality of the face itself. Like this, that's definitely, I think the lighting has been improved, which you would expect. I would expect Konami to go in there and improve the whole game as a whole. Graphically, lighting, all that stuff. But yeah, Ronaldo looks good there. Uh, what else do we have? Some more faces for you guys to possibly take a look at here. A few comparisons. So that was the Ronaldo one that we saw. And there was a look at Memphis. Definitely an improvement, I would say. And there's the before and after. Is that Upper Meccano? Yeah, that's definitely uh, definitely an upgrade, which is why I'm excited to see what this game can do when they've, when they've put it to the potential that it has and the Unreal Engine 5's out and all that stuff. And then you got Danny Alves there, once again, looking far better. Uh, even the little mole on his head, there it is. That wasn't showcased before. So that's confirmation that no doubt the, uh, the player likenesses and the faces are looking a lot better. Now, the new broadcast package, I wanted to, to go over this real quick. Except for the color scheme. I mean, Konami, I know what they're doing. They're, they don't want to rebrand the whole game, so they're not going to change the color scheme, which is one thing I've been going on and on and on about. Whether you like the color scheme or not, folks, it's not great to look at. But this is one thing that does look quite nice. And for the first time in probably, I don't even know how long, two decades, it looks like they've actually updated the presentation. This is more like FIFA with the players that are standing there. They have their little animation of them putting their hands behind the back. It would be nice if they all had different animations, but I'm not going to nitpick too much. But overall, it's the color scheme that's just pathetic. I mean, why are they putting pink in there with yellow and blue? For me, keep it neutral. You know, the blacks, the whites, the grays. Just keep it simple, Konami. Change the color scheme or make it DLC. And this looks fantastic. But still, it does look like a much better upgrade from what we have seen in the past. Let me know your thoughts. Right, now let's go over and check out the gameplay, which I'm sure you're all looking forward to. If you've not already seen it, Spoonie's put out a video. There's videos everywhere, but I'm going to give you my two cents. So without further ado, let's go look at some gameplay. Alrighty, so here we go. This is from VGC. Uh, we'll leave the link for the videos I show in the description if you want to check them out. I mean, definitely check it out because, you know, he, the guy gives his actual impressions with the game. I haven't played it, okay? I'm just giving you my thoughts. So, this is the introduction. And I'm going to have him talking in my ear hole. Uh, but you see the players coming out. I would say this is going to be on the PlayStation 5. Uh, but you can definitely see graphically it's been improved there's no doubt about it that looks really nice i do think like even bruno himself i mean that that looks really nice like from a from a from a graphical standpoint from a cutscene standpoint bruno looks like bruno um the you know the anti-aliasing looking good i i'm i'm gonna be intrigued to see how this looks on pc although i'm not holding much hope because it seems like the the next gen consoles are getting the better treatment uh, but anyway there's the uh the intro we've already seen that before the cutscene of the players coming out. I really do like the look of it in that sense. I mean, I like this part right here. That looks nice. Really, really good overall. So they've certainly done their homework and tweaked a few things with the presentation. Finally, finally, Konami, 
It was about time. Now, the crowd themselves, it looks far better than what we saw when the game launched, which wasn't even 3D models. I mean, you can't tell 100% here. It will look better when you're playing it yourself. But as you can see, they're proper, they're proper models. They're not just cardboard cutouts that, that just look woeful last year, really did. So yeah, lads are just applauding away, and then we're going to dive into the action. First thing you can take note of is checking out the um, the time. So this is a ridiculous five-minute game. I mean, how Konami can justify anyone to play this game in a five-minute match? is It's boggling to me, mind-boggling. Give them ten minutes to sit down and enjoy the game. <sighs> right, so first off the bat, I want to look at the goalies, because I love to look at the goalkeepers. Have they been changed? Well, let's have a look here. Watch um, De Gea. A bit more of a natural jumping animation from him. Um, I'm not going to... I mean, you can see as well there David De Gea, and I will stop and start this. But as he makes this save, you can see he kind of gets up and starts waving his arms about, telling him to maybe push out. I don't know what he's saying, but, you know, a little few animations, and then the ball's tapped in, but don't see too much wrong with that. There are going to be a few things you'll notice here. The first thing is the purple bar that, that pops up. Now, what that is, is that is going to be the sharp shot or the stunning shot, the stunning pass. Anytime you see a purple bar, they're using the stunning shot or the stunning cross or the stunning pass. I don't know why they've gone for this stunning word, but they are. And it gives the player an obscene amount of pace on the ball. It does look like some of these shots have insane momentum with them, but I'm not going to complain about that. And by the way, the net physics, I know, they need to be really upped a lot. And I'm not going to talk about the net physics because it is what it is, but I do feel like they do make goals look that much better. That's why I always do say, like, just make the nets look good. And in turn, the goals will look better. It's a minor thing, but we are in 2020, folks. 20, I've forgotten what year it is. We are in 2022. Uh, and you would ultimately expect, you know, the Nets to be far better. Now, looking at this goal, first thing is the cross. I like that little pirouette. The cross that comes in there, that's a far more, un uh, not un unrealistic, I'm going to say a more unpredictable cross. Normally in Pez, Pez 21 that we've seen, most crosses, when they're crossed in, are the same. What you notice from the ball here from, I think that was, El was that Elanga? I know, I'm going to keep going back, but I really just want to look through this. I haven't seen this too much. But the way the ball kind of dips... Now, the finish is ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, he's, he's looped the goalie from there. Cracking finish by the Sancho. Uh, but yeah, the way the ball was whipped in, and you're going to see this a few times, and this guy did speak about that. But when you cross the ball now, you can even do almost like a knuckle shot cross. And that's the whole purpose of this stunning cross, stunning shot, stunning pass. Different ways to pass the ball, which... It's good. It's good. I want to see more ways to do it because there isn't enough things to do in Pez. I don't know also what difficulty this was being played on. This was the stunning shot, as you can see, but Ronaldo didn't give it or, you know, didn't, didn't get the chance to get away with the shot. Now, that's the thing you've got to take into account. If you're going to use a stunning shot right here, watch this. Bang. I mean, that's got some venom on it, which I like. It's going to take the player a lot more time. I don't, I will say I don't like Ronaldo's shorts. I think the shorts for these players are far too baggy. I mean, you know, Ronaldo generally is a more fitted player. Um, yes, I'm going to nitpick, so stop, stop going on about it, folks. I'll say what I need to say. But yeah, I do feel like the shorts could do with some treatment, but you know, that's just the player models themselves. There's another, another shot for you, trying to trying to do a couple of these stunning shots a lot, which, you know what, that's fine. When they're testing these games out, test them out. So there's a prime example, 100% of the stunning cross right here. Watch the way he whips this in. You would never see a ball like that in Pez 21, Pez 2019. It wasn't doable. Um, so that's going to be a nice little addition to be able to whip in a variety of different crosses as well as shooting the ball in a variety of different ways. I'm not going to hold judgment against the AI because I don't know what difficulty. I'm thinking the difficulty, as you can see there, goalie got no chance. But once again, let's have a look at the goalie's animation when he dives. That's far better. I feel like they have worked on the goalies. The way he's... I mean, he's got no chance. You're not saving that. There's far too much power into it. And then he does the old... Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to hold judgment against the AI because honestly, it looks like a lot of the games I've seen are playing on very poor or, or probably regular 
I don't know how good these people are at eFootball. A lot of the times they let these journalists play the games and they've never really played a football game in their life. But for the most part, they're probably playing on pretty standard AI. Now, remember the circle around the player's feet. You can turn that off if you want. Honestly, if you're going to play on manual, it's probably a wise decision to leave it on for the time being. Just to, um, you know, get your feet wet and learn it. Let's have a look once again here. I want to see the goalkeeper once more. A little fake for Lewandowski. Yeah, I feel like the goalies have been worked on. From what I can see, which normally was a big annoyance of mine. But the way they're diving looks far more natural uh, than what we had previously. And Lewandowski banging it in the old top bins. All right, let's move on a little bit more. This video hasn't got much more time, folks. This was a, a pretty short video. It's about six minutes overall. Uh, here was a ball through. This is a bit of one-on-one -on -one action. That's a lovely ball over the top and puts it in the net. The, the net physics are better. They are better from last year. As you can see, it actually moves, so that's not bad. Uh, but certainly can be improved upon. But yeah, there we go. Ball through the middle. Got caught napping. Little. This is a lovely little dink ball over. The old one touch. Doesn't even need a touch. Just do it first time. Uh, another goal here for you. Fed across the old mixer. Or maybe not. Now they're going to bring this out. Here's Pedri to De Jong. He'll switch the plate. No, nope, he'll feed it right into um, the Bayern player. Comes back to Memphis. I really am looking forward to trying this now just because of the whole defending mechanics and having the option now to be able to press and, and actually defend better. That's a nice goal. Uh, once again, let's uh, let's have a look at the goalkeepers. Yeah, I know it's a lot of look in the goalies, but honestly, the goalies have annoyed me for so long. It's an annoyance of mine. Didn't look bad at all. And if you're going to look at the cross, have a look at the cross again. The way he whips this ball in, you know, there's a little bit more swerve on it, a little bit more bend. Uh, and a different kind of uh, physics. And there we go. That's pretty much that video summed up as they're giving each other a hug. They're still all the same height, though. I mean, Jordi Alba's not that tall, is he? I, can't, I don't know why they can't fix that. All right, anyway, that's that first video. Now I'm going to move over uh, because I've got this one right here that we're going to play. Now, this is a long video. It's about 12 minutes by, uh, I believe... Some Japanese folks, they've got a chance to play. And the reason why I'm stating that the AI is on an easier difficulty is because um, there's a lot of goals in this one. I'm going to try and make this um, fit a little bit more. But yeah, there was a lot of goals in this where I'm thinking he's playing, you know, on probably regular difficulty. Uh, but he's going to work the ball forward here. Let's see all the names in Japanese, so that helps out. Uh, but there's Sancho playing a terrible pass. All right, so let's just watch the AI briefly here, see what they do. Keeper clears it away, comes back to, is that Mr. Paul Pogba? Ronaldo with a quick turn, lays it off. Now, there's the sharp shot. And as you can see, it's almost like a knuckle shot. But if you're going to pull this shot off, you have to be able to have that time and space to line it up. But just being able to give it that little bit of extra juice on any type of player... Uh, I think is going to be um, something different. All I want is something different, folks. Really, ultimately. Like something new, something fresh. So we've got new passing, you know, new shooting, new crossing. The whole stunning thing just enables you. I think they could have found a better word for it. I mean, sharp kick wasn't much better. Um, but I mean, power shot or power cross or power pass might even sound better. The old PP. Uh, but yeah, just the way he smashes it in, bottom corner, very nice from Rashford. And um, yeah, we don't need to see a thousand replays. Right, let's move forward a little bit more. See the way he, you know, he, he passes it about. The players are able to, to dribble nicely. I recommend uh, this is probably on the old stadium camera. So here we go, picking it about. You can see the passes have a little bit more juice on them. Yeah, they're, they're, he's definitely playing on like regular. There's no way this is like superstar because you just walk around them. Um, and then that was a, a woeful finish from Mr. Bruno Fernandes. Looks like he's been working out. Size of the old biceps. All right, let's move this forward a little bit more. But yeah, that's a prime example. I don't know what we just saw there, but the AI just... I mean, you can, you can see that the AI looking very shockingly bad here. And they're all doing the stutter animation. Watch. You see the stuttering right here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, they're doing some weird animation. So, yeah, I'd highly I'd highly say this is on 
right there. I mean, what is that? What What is that from the AI? But even on beginner, ultimately here, yeah, he shouldn't just walk straight through the ball. Uh, then Ronaldo's through, one-on-one. -on -one. Is he going to finish? He's going for the, the far shot into the bottom corner. Comfortable finish for Cristiano. All right, let's move forward a little bit more. So they're going to start again. Back to um, Chesney. Swing it around the other way. Now, this is where PC modding is going to come into effect and really help this game out. If it is only five-minute games, again, against the AI, which is just stupid, then, you know, going on the PC and modding it is going to look um, far better or be far better. I just don't think the PC version is going to look the best. It was not optimized well last year. There it is. And uh, I can't see it being optimized well, but I really hope Konami have gone in there. I'm going to be playing it probably on the PlayStation 5 anyway. So, yeah, it, you know, it is what it is. That comes off the Defender. But yeah, the AI look really bad for the opposition, so I'm not even going to bother critiquing them too much. Great finish by Rashford. I wish he would do that in the real world. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not been happening. This ball in from Sancho. It's a bit... I don't know still about that animation. I mean, I've, I've never liked the crossing or the bending animation. I spoke about this yesterday. But the way Bruno kind of bends this... Because his foot kind of just glides as he's doing it. I don't know. It, it Maybe nitpicking. But I'm just... Look, I'm a, I'm a very big Pez fan. Okay? And I just know that Konami... They've got good fundamentals. You know, they've just never been able to to execute it well enough. You know, to, it's like they're there, but then they take two steps back, one step forward, two steps back. And I, I'm hoping that we play this next week and, I, and I'm really impressed by it. And I'm like, okay, you know, the, the defending's much improved. The players are more responsive. I do think maybe the biceps of some of these players are just you know, a little bit too steamy. They all have the same arm shape. And I think that's where the laziness comes from Konami is they've literally just one player model is the same. It doesn't matter if they're five foot two or six foot two, you know, but these are little things they can work on. I'm going to give you my impressions. I am a very honest person. I don't like to beat around the proverbial bush and uh, I just say what I say. And you may think I'm complaining and whining, but I'm, I'm, I like to justify my points if I'm going to say something. Anyway, you guys can see what's going on there with the bar. Let's move that down. All right, that was a little bit of lag, but that was just my video playing. Let's go back to that one. So, they work it down the left-hand side. Here's says Rabio plays it through. It's Morata with a chance. Uh, and a comfortable save for Mr. David De Gea. All right, let's move forward a little bit more. Let's uh, see what happens here. The other side of the field. Who's that? Fred the Red? Yeah, you can see. Try to dink that in. So that's what the purple bar means, all right? 100%. That's when you're using that stunning shot, stunning pass, stunning cross. Just please change the name. I won't be calling that. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, continue. I'm going to work this down the left-hand side. Here is Rashi. Now, I'm still not seeing player runs being an option, so I don't think you can make players make the runs. I still think I'm going to miss that a lot. I know you can use L1 and X to do, like, the simple things. That was a nice little finish there from Mr. Bruno Fernandes. He probably would actually finish the ball off like that. But this is the, making an L1 X pass, plays it back to him, uh, and then outside of the boot, a nice little finish. But, yeah, the AI is definitely on beginner or regular, so it's uh, all pretty standard stuff. The cutscenes look good. Definitely think they've, uh, they've upped the, uh, you know, the resolution a bit. But yeah, just a simple give, go. Defenders are just woeful. Uh, and then outside of the boot finish, bottom corner. Lovely. But anyway, let me know what you guys make of it. I mean, we won't know until we play it. Videos can only do things, certain things. Videos can only do certain things. That's what I meant. Uh, but yeah, once you get your hands on it and you start playing the game, uh, then you're going to notice uh, all these little intricate details. But as you can see as well there, as Ronaldo. <laughs> Where's the Ronaldo? See? Uh, but look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Ready? As you can see, that looks far better um, crowd-wise than what we saw last year. I mean, you can actually see the faces. They're not blurry. It looks good. The ad boards are there as well. So, um, and then, you know, <laughs> it's so funny. 
Uh, yeah, they just need to kind of tighten up, I think, the outfits of the players because they they do look far too big for the players. I mean, Ronaldo's not even hitting the corner flag. What are you doing, Ronaldo? You got annoyed with the misses last night. But yeah, if you look at the likes of Fred and that, I mean, it, I don't know. Their legs really seem quite fat, like, mm, like Turbo, Roberto Carlos legs. But yeah, Konami, just, just tighten up the player models. There's little things and, and uh, yeah, all will be good. But yeah, let me know what you guys make of it. As I said, videos can only do it so much. We're going to be playing it hardcore next week, giving it a bash. I'm sorry if I'm lagging, but it is what it is. It's because it's not the brightest day outside. Uh, but anyway, we'll return very, very shortly. That's my opinions, impressions on everything. I definitely think it looks far better than what we saw last year. Um, you know, as in like bugs and players of gliding into each other and oh it was just an absolute mess uh, but I definitely also feel like um, as you can see there Fred was uh, a little thing like that as the ball was coming off someone else threw the ball on as you can see and then Fred comes across kind of kicks it off it's a little bit of a slow one uh, but then the ball disappears uh, but yeah just little things like that just little things like that anyway we'll be back shortly let me know your thoughts Mars League I don't know when it's going to be back maybe Sunday I'll try and record over the weekend but you know, all these videos are coming out. I do want to look at them and at least put something out that's fresh and new. But anyway, till next time, let me know your thoughts, as I said. Maybe rate it out of 10. I don't know. It's up to you. Till next time, subscribe for more. Take care.